Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like. Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, yeah, let's get into your reading here. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you from today as you're listening to this reading through the middle of January. Okay, first thing popping out. You have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius showing up significant. And you also have, oh, sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Okay. All right. There's an air sign who is questioning their, I believe, their, um, well, their orientation perhaps, or just, qu just questioning. They don't know who they are. Okay. They don't know who they are. Let's see. What's going on here with this air sign? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, this may not resonate for all of you. Don't try to make it fit. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, okay. That's okay, too. Um, and do remember that this reading is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. Yes. Yeah, got the moon. Bit of confusion with this person. That is Pisces energy hiding things not being fully revealed there is someone here who's significant in your life who is not sure about them, who they are okay and with that moon mm, they're either deceiving themselves or they're deceiving you or others they keep they're keeping this they're keeping this whole situation under wraps now, being an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that could be their sun, moon, or rising, or anywhere else in their chart. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it has to do with love. Okay. Is this person loving themselves? Are they accepting and loving themselves? Um, and this could have to do with a love relationship that you have with this person. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we have the King of Cups. Okay. Okay. They might be in love with a same-sex partner um, or straight. Either way, I do feel like this person is confused. Yes, there's Gemini there as an energy, Pisces as an energy, and um, Cancer and Scorpio. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yeah, this person is keeping this under wraps. They're not saying anything. Um, they're not even fully sure and understanding it themselves. Let's take a look. Okay. Hmm. I'm feeling like a need to conquer. This person has this need to... I'm feeling there's a... This person needs a lot of attention and support. Um, they don't think they're going to get that. So I feel like this person is, that's why they're holding back. Um, they don't feel like there's going to be acceptance. That's what they want. They have a fear that if they tell you that they are unsure of themselves, that you won't accept that um, or, or that you might judge them for that. It, obviously, if someone's not accepting it, there is that feeling of possibly being in judgment with that. Okay, so they're in this place of trying to make a decision what to do. Should they keep it hidden or should they come out into the open and hope that you will accept this about them? Okay. Hmm. Now, this might be a little bit of a surprise for you. So there's, a, there's an element of doubt here. Now, maybe you already know about this um, or you don't or maybe you've had a hunch. I feel like this keeps coming up. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the past few weeks, <clears throat> I feel like this keeps coming up. <laughs> so something here is definitely playing out that might be resonating for one Virgo here or two. Yeah, look at that. The Seven of Swords. Whew, gosh. <clears throat> this person running away from a relationship because they are, feels like, they may have another relationship with someone same, same sex and they're not saying anything or they're keeping it hidden um, or they're running away from the relationship with you. They keep kind of um, maybe 
because they're being deceptive or they're lying to you or lying to themselves about they're in, so they're in the closet that's what i hear this person is in the closet and they're not showing it they're keeping that secret they're hiding that they're deceiving because they're not sure themselves about themselves now let me see this is something this is quite a reading okay the hangman yeah they're waiting i feel like this person is waiting they're gonna tell you um they're staying silent right now they want to talk to you they want to tell you hey by the way um in case you didn't know boom um but they're waiting very patiently for the right time to bring this out to you to tell you and maybe just to confirm what you already know or the or a hunch that you already have i don't feel like there's anything to do with you here this is i feel like this is all on this person's end okay but you know when we're lying to ourselves we're lying to others and a lie is a lie is a lie is a lie okay um, uh, they're waiting to talk about it, but they're they're pushing back, right? So if you're not communicating with this person, or you just get a sense, they're being defensive about it. Yeah, why? Because, well, they know either if you're in a love relationship with this person, and then they're changing things up, and they're going to tell you some kind of truth about, you know, what they're hiding that might end things. I don't feel like this person wants to lose. Yeah, see five of cups i feel like if they tell you what's going on then the relationship will be over now maybe it will maybe it won't i don't know on your end but they feel like it's going to be a huge they're going to lose a very special person in you and they're kind of hoping that that's not going to happen but they know that they're pushing back because they don't want to lose you but wow yeah there, there's just this they're waiting they're waiting to tell you now are they going to tell you in this month coming up like the truth so what's like is it going to happen in this time period what's going on here Your sagittarius energy okay king of pentacles knight of cups okay yeah they are going to tell you um they're they're, they're going to reveal it to you and listen this person This person has very strong romantic feelings for you. They're just very confused. Yeah. And I think that you also love this person. And you do want the truth to come out. Um, I don't know how you're going to take it. I don't know if you're going to be disappointed or if you're you're going to be relieved. Um, but I feel like they, they, they will tell you in the new year. That's really what I feel. So from sometime around like the middle of january i feel like they're it's going it will come out like it will be confirmed for you if you already have hunches about this all right so we have virgo taurus capricorn we also have leo um you could be on the cusp of leo virgo all right let me see yes and how's that going to turn out when they when they open up and tell you the truth wow going to be a blessing um my gosh the ace of cups healing there's going to be a healing energy that's going to happen yeah and it's going to happen fast wow okay so what does that mean is this person going to end the relationship I don't think so. I feel like this is going to renew the, the relationship because I feel like the situation right now is that they're just confused. And they might be confused for various reasons, okay? Um, it could be like an environment. It, 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 I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I, definitely not. And I, I don't want anyone to get that message. I feel like the biggest thing is... This person wants to talk with you about things to maybe help gain some insight for you to help them in some way to gain some insight. Now, it's very profound for you, Virgo, to be able to take this on and be that person who is going to put all of your differences aside or anything about a romantic relationship that disappointed you or something didn't work out and to be a friend of this person it's it's very noble of you if you're able to do that not many people 
you know, the disappointment sets in and then it's like, but I don't feel like this person is really one way or the other. I feel like they're in this transition where they don't know. They're not sure. I, you know, I feel like perhaps there was a romantic relationship that started and things got very convoluted and complex and this person began questioning their sexuality and then uh, perhaps uh, it's, it, so there's the agape love is there, you know, um, but the intimacy part is this person is not sure uh, and I feel like if that was lacking in the relationship, that it's because of that but i see healing here these are two healing cards the ace of cups and the star so i feel like uh, i guess if that's the best you could get to that that would be great let me take a look at you virgo okay so you have the three of cups you have the nine of cups the high priestess virgo is like i already knew yeah, I already knew. I intuited this quite some time ago, or I just wasn't sure. But uh, as far as like to, conf I didn't have any way to confirm it, but I trust my gut. I feel like for you, really the only thing you want is clarity and truth. And I feel like you may be very supportive as a friend to this person. You know, if even if it's not romantic and it's just um, a platonic relationship or a friendship, I feel like I see you being very supportive of this person which i think is wonderful and kudos to you if you are able to get yourself in that position to whatever it might be to be like you know i love you anyway you know and i'll help you through it if i can I, I feel like that's such a beautiful virgo trait anyway you know virgos always want to find a way to help people improve their lives they don't ever want to control people but they do have this gift virgos of patience and understanding like having that deep understanding and just wanting the other person to be healthy and happy you know and not there are some virgos that can get up in the ego a little bit but when they step back and they're like man this person's really suffering suffering virgos have a tremendous amount of empathy they really do and people take virgos to be um the types of people who just want to control and fix everything and nag but that's not what it is virgos heart is so big that virgos like Oh, man, you're suffering. I see you suffering. Here's what you need to do. Here's how you need to get it better. Here's how you, how you need to heal it. I, that's one of the gifts of Virgo. And people always go to a Virgo for advice or some help. And I feel like this person does feel like you are that person that they could actually open up to, but they do have a fear of not being accepted. And it looks like you will do your best, I feel, to help this person attain whatever is um their path even if you are that even if you're the virgo that says no i think you're just confused um and rightly so you know um but it's okay i'm not going to tell you what to be but I, i'll be here to listen and give that friendly support i i feel that from you virgo and honestly i'm like if you're that virgo i am so impressed super super impressed with that ability to overcome yourself and put yourself in somebody else's shoes and as difficult as it might be I see you being that person. I really do. I hope you do um, find a way to, to do that. But obviously, if that's not something you can do, you know, take care of yourself. Do what you need to do. But I feel like you already are aware or you've had a hunch or you just kind of was like, hmm, something. I, I think it's this. I think this is what's going on. But no way to confirm it. And I feel like I'm confirming it for you. Yeah. See, you've been curious. And I feel like Virgo, they're the best investigators of the Zodiac. So um, people say Scorpios are. No one holds a candle to Virgo. Now, Scorpio comes in second. Virgos are the best investigators. Virgos have the most clarity. They have the, the ability to cut through all the emotion, the bric-a-brac. The Virgos are very good at that. And um, yeah, it looks like you're going to get some final answer i feel like this person and you're gonna have a conversation and talk and you'll ask a lot of questions and i feel like you're gonna take on more of a role of like a healer um i don't know virgo i feel like whoever this person is to you they're tremendously lucky and blessed to have you in their life and i feel like they're gonna come to realize that yeah good for you